topics are we going to talk about? Right, start with that. <laughs> we're going to talk about Call of Duty, rave versus online festival. Then we're going to talk about mainstream bands not supporting small bands. And if we go for it, then we're going to do this for real. Right, I'm just going to show my brave. Up. We'll start with... Uh, We'll start with Call of Duty, one second, technical stuff, and um, there we go, right, Call of Duty, yeah, yeah, how are you feeling about Call of Duty at the moment? Well, I was just going to ask you this question, um, so as far as I know, Call of Duty is, is a shooter, right, like, uh, like this massive... Uh, multiplayer shooter right yeah but then this topic this whole um, cold war espionage uh, story well so here's the thing spy activity optimally is the least um, you know action field um, thing i mean you know like these spies in reality like there is it's not any James Bond bullshit. It's like, you know, like these people are just going around talking to other people, exchanging some encrypted messages and uh, stealing some information here and there, and that's it. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm not getting how, uh, how this particular story fits into a shooter game, if you know what I mean. I mean, I do remember that there Maybe was... Maybe you can tell me more about it, because like, like I told you earlier, I never played any Call of Duty. I played Battlefield, but, uh, but yeah, I never. Call, uh, for, for some reason, I never got into Call of Duty. I remember there were a lot of spies. <clears throat> so it's like an espionage spy story, you know? But apparently it's set on basically the events that happened. So, all oh, right, so so technically it goes through all the um, Cold War uh, conflicts or what? Yeah, all the Cold oh. War conflicts. Oh, that's awesome, though. All, all, all the things that have to do with uh, what's going to happen, uh -huh. whether or not we're going to, we're going to, we're going to super exceed, we're going to have big bomb warfare. <laughs> all right, all right, it, it makes sense now because you know, like. <laughs> The funny thing, but then I think this whole thing is even more interesting then, because because I watched this trailer that you just uh, showed, and and you know the the first thing that came to mind for me was was today, like like this uh, this uh, supposed um, Russian spy talking about all this subversion and crisis and whatnot. I was like, okay, I can, that's probably some some sort of a reference to today's issues. Like there is there is a significant social unrest in the Western world, right? I yeah. Mean, like uh, most recently, this uh, Black Lives Matter uh, stuff, and like uh, like there's always something. But, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's always something going on. So there, like one could argue that, <clears throat> yeah, okay, like this. This might be the result of some some spy activity, or I mean, like this is this is a conspiracy theory, of course, because there is no way of justifying this statement. I mean, you know, like they, there could be or there could not be a spy activity. Like we will never know, but you know, like it sounds rational. Yeah. Well, not rational, but but it sounds like a, an explanation. So I was like, okay, like, so is, is it going to be like today's, like, I don't know, like spies in, uh, Russian spies in the US, but that, it turns out it has nothing to do with it, but, uh, yeah, I mean, well, the uh, funny thing that you should mention Yuri Bezmanov, um, because Yuri Bezmanov, apparently he was part of the KGB, mm -hmm. and I, I, I found this very fascinating, so, oh. um, uh, it, it, it says in this article, because I, I tried to get another article up, right? And unfortunately, they want me to sign up to a newsletter. Okay. I mean, I don't sign up to newsletters. So it says, Call of Duty in a far-right conspiracy controversy. Now, yeah. I, 
I'm thinking, well, well, it isn't far right conspiracy contro- controversy. It is if if you're a communist, right? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? And you're trying to tell the world that these things never existed. So it's a far-right conspiracy. Yeah, right then. Um, I, I find it very confusing. I mean, it could be. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, it, it, it's what happened in history. Are you frightened of history? Yeah? You, you want to knock some, you, you wanna knock some, um, some uh, statues down and you want to do all this stuff? What actually has this got to do with gaming? Um, <laughs> Um, yeah. What what makes me laugh is the fact that in some of uh, uh, Uri's comments, he did he did say that he was going to tell us about active measures, and that it's like a theory to destabilize uh, opponents without direct military conflict. So you're going to use spies for that. That, that. that the whole point of being a spy is not to be known. <laughs> so of course we're not going to have like actual hard evidence of these spies unless they were poisoned you know what I mean and they yeah, got caught yeah. doing it <laughs> <laughs> and even then like you know like these people like they just vanish from the face of the earth sometimes yeah but like, I do you know, I- like, like, like uh, that's, that's the beauty of this whole spy genre that you know, like the only people who know what's going on are, are the people who are involved themselves and that's it. Like, I think when, when there is there is an actual, um, you know, like a public happening uh, around spy activity, then, then the whole operation has gone horribly wrong or it's a charade. I do agree with you about it being a charade. I have mm. to say, because... You know, we've got so much smoke screens going on at the moment that it does actually look like his theory fits into place. That's the scariest thing. <laughs> yeah. So, so anyway, in this trailer, it's got demoralization as stage one, yeah. right? which, which apparently that, that, that's a part of, of, of cultural Marxism, right? Um, where they tell us that um, you know it, it's it's uh, there's no two sexes, there's uh, multiple genders, and and all this kind of crap, and then uh, there's destabilization, then there's crisis, and there's there's normalization. Well, I kind of don't really want to walk around wearing a mask all the time, and um, I just thought I might share that with you because at the moment that seems to be normalizing. And every time I walk into a shop at the moment in in Oslo or around, they're trying to sell us moon bins. It's yeah. like I don't need a mask. I'm all right, mate. <laughs> I can't I can't breathe with it because I, I I've obviously got a few problems, you know, with with, with my uh, hay fever at the moment. So that mm-hmm. that's going to be pointless. Um, and they want us to wear masks. What do you think about that? Well, I mean, in general, I would say that if there is a chance that this mask will prevent some infection, then then technically, yes, we should be wearing it. I mean, you know, like, I'm, I'm not among those people who are like, oh, yeah, why the fuck should I do this? Like, it doesn't, mask, masks don't protect you. I mean, like, of course, nothing protects you 100% unless you go in the, in this, you know, like full uh, biohazard uniform or anything. Of oh course, no, but, um, that's too dystopian for me. I, I would find. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. But <laughs> at the same time, it's it's like, well, you know, like I'm very reluctant uh, about uh, discussing the virus case because every two weeks, the the paradigm shifts from one direction to the other, like. You know, like in the beginning, of course, everybody is paranoid, the uh, people die and all that stuff. And then uh, during summer, it's like, oh, it's not that serious. And now we're like, oh, yes, it's that serious. And then, you know, like the number of infected is increasing. But on the, at the same time, the, you know, like the number of casualties is not increasing. The people don't end up in hospitals. They just, you know, pretty much... Uh, sleep it out so so i don't know but there may be maybe i don't know like in two weeks uh, there's gonna be massive amounts of deaths again uh, so you think so, so 
No, well, I don't. That's that's what I'm trying to say. That I don't think anything at this point because it's pointless. You can never know what comes next. So I think it's just you know, like I I don't go out that much. I never take public transport, so I I don't have a mask either. Yeah, I'm biking everywhere at this point. And um, but you know, like if you feel like it, it helps, then do it. And if you don't feel like it helps, then like, maybe still do it. I don't know. Uh, just wow. Well, I don't I, know, man. I I, I feel like COVID nineteen has taken over twenty twenty so much that nobody can think for themselves. But okay. before, I mean, I, I don't really play Call of Duty. I gotta say this. I gotta admit. I don't no, play Call of Duty. No, 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 no. I played. <laughs> I thought like, you were a serious but, gamer. Or something. But, but uh, the, the the reason why I bring up the the, the topic is because it's so uh, relevant to today. Yeah, no, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it it, it does. Uh, it, it's interesting. Because it's say. like Battlefield, right? They apparently um, Battlefield wanted to turn into this sort of like female battle, and I haven't played yeah, that one yet. Battlefield, Battlefield Five. Field. Yeah. Female role model, uh, center stage, and everyone uh, threw up in arms about it. And, you know, it was uh, from a female perspective. Mm -hmm. And women shouldn't be on the front line and all this kind of uh, rubbish. They find anything to complain about the, the game. And actually, it's Battlefield. There are a bunch of women that play Battlefield, and we we go online and we start talking, and yeah. the majority of the time, right, we we yeah. always share music or something like that. You know, or uh -huh. we say, "Have you heard this song?" Yeah, it, it's it's mega when you're playing against this, the, uh, when you're doing this and you're doing like some some combat zone. That's uh -huh. all we ever do is we we do chat and we do serious chat where we're we're talking about got your six and all this kind of thing. But other than that, <laughs> talk about the sex of, uh, of, of, of a character for crying out loud. If you choose that character, then no one's going to know. Cause you're, you're in your army gear for crying out loud. Uh, no, nobody cares. No one's bothered. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, you know, like this, I, I don't understand today's, um, gaming habits to be honest i mean to me it seems like all these new games have all these microtransactions where you can buy some new eyebrows for your character or something right yeah for 20 dollars and then you're like uh, personalizing your avatar and whatnot and that's it and yeah. uh, that's that's part of it like okay now you can now you can make uh, a character that looks like uh, grace jones or something <laughs> and uh, Pay a hundred bucks or something, and then what? no, I, I I'd go for uh, pink I'm... pink dart Vader. That was that was a feature in this um, what is it? Not Battlefield, but um, but the Star Wars version, I'd Battlefront, Battlefront. Yeah, I'd go for a gremlin. Pink dart Vader. Yeah. Um. Right. My internet connection is unsustainable. I don't know how that says that. Are you still there? Well, that's something. Yeah, that is something. Woo! Right, we're gonna maybe, go on to maybe the KGB is already listening to this conversation and you know, they're your connection. So. Tap tap the mic and just 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 double check. <laughs> you know? Talk yeah. about uh, some conspiracy. War taps, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I I never really like to mention gaming and 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 you know metal. But there has yeah. been like some problems with the metal community and understanding, you know, we like to party because we, I feel as though everything in COVID-19 has, has, has taken over and everybody wants to just hide yeah. away and under a rock. You know?